nobody, repeat, nobody has ever shed more blood in the NWA arena than the original chosen one, Rick Michaels. But shedding blood here this evening is a liability. The first man who sheds any blood after one of them grabs a hold of those barbed wire brass knucks, he is going to be the loser of this match. And neither Rain Man nor Rick Michaels want to be known as a loser. What a main event this week. Rain Man and Rick Michaels going toe to toe here in the Stairway to Hell match. Rain Man reigns in head first on a chair supplied by a fan. The history between this feud is long and extensive. It started well before Freedom Fight 2002, somewhere in the month of April. When Jeff G. Bailey hired Blackout, Rain Man, and his then partner, Murder One, to take out the original chosen one, Rick Michaels. They left Michaels laying in a pool of his own blood in the middle of the ring. One of the most disgusting events I've ever seen until Freedom Fight 2002. In the Holy Wars cage match, Rain Man and Rick Michaels locked it up again. And with the very barbed wire knucks that you see hanging from the ceiling, Rain Man left Rick Michaels lying in a puddle of the most grotesque and gruesome viscous life fluid. I have ever laid witness to. And if you did want to see that, it's available on Wildside Home Video. Check us out at nwa-wildside.com. But heading up to the bleachers is Rick Michaels and Rain Man. And with Obviously, the help, no, no boundaries whatsoever in this match. No boundaries whatsoever. And at Freedom Fight 2002, with the help of Jeff G. Bailey and a handful of powder, Rain Man defeated Rick Michaels 1-2-3 and eliminated him from the Holy Wars cage match. That was round one. Round two occurred in the Dark City death match. Just a few short weeks ago here at the NWA Arena, it was a death match, Texas death rules, answering the standing can count applied only. Rick Michaels won by the very shred of the skin of his teeth. Rain Man got his revenge after the match again with the barbed wire knucks. A bloody and battered Rick Michaels covered in barbed wire came to the ringside area following that matchup and issued the challenge for this match to try and finally settle the score between these two. And I don't know if even this match can do that. Yeah, good luck. Regardless of what's going to happen here, somebody is going to end up bleeding, and that person is going to lose this stairway to hell matchup. And to get a hold of those brass knucks, they're going to have to use those ladders, and they are stationed on either side of the ramp here at the NWA Arena. And neither Michaels nor Rain Man seem to be in much shape at the moment to uh, be thinking about ladders. This match may be a long one in the making. Well, their hatred for one another is far exceeding the stipulations of this matchup. Irish whip by Rain Man on the ring, Michaels into the barricade. Yeah, I think Michael, kick. Michaels puts the brakes on in the nick of time. Not there, apparently. Michaels lands in the front row. What, what front row? What's left of the front row? Displacing the South Atlanta boys from their chairs, but Rain Man and Michaels are showing each other no quarter at all. Why are these fans still standing there? That, that, that slays me. I'd be running like a bunny. Rain Man and Rick Michaels now rolling on these storage crates here. Look at these guys, rolling atop these storage crates. It is a fight, fans. There's nothing in the context of the word wrestling that describes this matchup of a fight. Rick Michaels just vaulted Rain Man onto that security railing and dropped a forearm just for good desserts. The feud between these two in intensity in my eyes has rivaled that of Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler from the 80s in Memphis, Terry Funk and Ric Flair. You get the impression that Michaels and Rain Man don't like each other very much. And I tell you, Stephen, the only way that this feud is ever going to end is for one of these men to admit that the other is better than he is. Oh, no such luck and there. No, that's never going to happen. Jeff G. Bailey trying to get involved with Rick Michaels. Oh, good God almighty. Good grief. 
the ladder vaulted into the face of the original chosen one, and Jeff Bailey is really happy with the way that scene turned out. An experiment in brutality. An experiment in pain. And we know the pride between these two. Oh, good grief, baseball slide into the face of Michaels yet again. Nothing but sheer brutality, non-stop, from both these competitors. But right now, the original chosen one is feeling the brunt of it, courtesy of the Soul Assassin. Wild swinging right hand. The backgrounds between these two so different. Polar opposites. Rain Man trained professionally by his former tag team partner, Murder One. He followed right along the lines in, in, in the street-like attack, the, the ghetto, the Dark City. And we saw the Dark City in full effect here at the three-year anniversary. And it's not a place I would send my worst enemy to. But then again, your worst enemy and Rain Man, I think, are two entirely different peas and, and, and some sort of unholy pod. Ooh! A beautiful counter for a charging Rain Man, merely moving that ladder 90 degrees so the edge crotches the charging Rain Man in the process. Very crafty, very smart, very clever on the part of the original Chosen One. The original Chosen One rips Michaels back in the offensive and dropping a leg on Rain Man there, and he's calling for a chair. And this... Chairs he wants, chairs he gets. Rick Michaels. Putting the crotch of Rain Man within the folding area of that chair. Looks like Michaels decided to do, uh, go to another plan here. Oh boy. Rick Michaels innovating some offense on the testicles of the Soul Assassin. Uh, the former testicles of the Soul Assassin. It's a pin attempt, Rick Michael now realizing he needs to climb the ladder to get those brass knucks and create some first blood on somewhere on the body of Rain Man in order to win this match. Pinfall, Michael, oh how quaint. Michael's so incensed with destroying Rain Man, he went for a pinfall, he forgot about the stipulation. Because it doesn't necessarily matter to Michaels what is on the line here, but that he destroys Rain Man. He's going to be as in that uh, north of the uh, southeastern corner of the ring. And Michaels is going to the other ladder. Do you really need two ladders to reach that? Know what Michaels has in mind well, here. I'm not going to reason with the original chosen one. Right now, he's beyond all realms of reason. Oh, well, not a bad maneuver here. Creating himself a double standard of support. Well, since there's no one around to hold the ladder while he climbs up to the top, is that what you have in mind? No! He wants to drop a forearm on the head of Rain Man, courtesy of the ladder. Well, it's certainly more impact when you come from that level. Now Rick Michaels going up to the top, trying to get a Rain Man. Forearm across the lower back. Back suplex off that ladder. Good deal more altitude than Rick Michaels is used to when he was on the receiving end of that move. When it comes to ladder matches in Wildside, you certainly have a lot to live up to. But these two men care not about living up to anything previously. The only thing they care about is the destruction and demise of one another. And they're well on the way of doing just that. In all honesty, I would hate for Wildside to continue without the services of Rick Michaels. But the rate he's going, I mean, he may not be around that much longer. Oh, good lord. Michael's hard into the ladder. So just a few minutes ago, that's about less than a minute ago, Jeff Bailey getting in on the action. Like Rain Man really needs much assistance. Now Rain Man in control. Rain Man. He's going to go for this. He's just a little off center. I'll say. Rain Man's been off center all his life. Not that Michael's too far behind. Michael stops Rain Man in his tracks on that ladder. 
Fists are flying. And it's a plain old simple shove of the ladder, and Rain Man just collapses in a heap. My God, what a main event this week on Wildside. Rick Michaels has the ladder once again. That is not a good night, a good idea at all. Well, maybe it's a little better idea than I thought. Swinging that ladder, Terry Funk style. And Andrew Thomas goes down. Didn't work very well in a certain bingo hall, but it seemed to do pretty well here at the NWA Arena. Rick Michaels is making his way up to that top of that ladder. My God, he's got it. If he wants it, he's got it. Rick Michaels has the barbed wire. Rick Michaels has attained the barbed wire nuts. And he nails Rain Man. He nails Rain Man with the barbed wire nuts. Those things are so sharp. Yeah, no kidding. Rain Man is bleeding. He is bleeding. This matchup is over. No, it's not because referee Andrew Thomas has not seen the blood on the face of Rain Man. Rain Man is bleeding. It's over. Thomas should ring the bell. The match is over. Rick Michaels is your winner. What the hell is Bay? He's wiping the blood off his face. He's wiping the blood off of his face. Precisely the reason that Jeff Bailey is at ringside. Wiping the blood off the face of the sole assassin. But referee Andrew Thomas taken out of the picture. Forgive the expression, but I see a screw job in the making. Hope I'm damn wrong. What the hell is this? Spine splitter for the soul assassin. And the soul assassin puts that the do rag on his head as in case any blood might happen to seep on out. But the soul assassin has the barbed wire and he just clocked Rick Michaels with it. Oh, good night. Oh, man. Rick Michaels was just beaten over the head with those barbed wire brass knucks. And Michaels now is bleeding. Michaels is lacerated, but Rain Man was lacerated first. And Andrew Thomas needs to be smart enough to that fact. Uh, he's about to be smart enough to the fact that he sees Rick Michaels bleeding, but he does not see Rain Man bleeding, though it apparently it seems. Like, oh, horse's uh, ass! That's that precise Horse's ass! The chicanery of Jeff Bailey and Rain Man. No! No way! No way in hell! Damn it! Rain Man was, in fact, the first man to bleed. Referee Andrew Thomas in no shape Ladies to see it. gentlemen, the winner of the match. Rain Man. What? No way! No way in hell! The crowd not very happy and voicing their disapproval with the, uh... Get it! Kick his ass! Kick his ass! Double shot on referee Andrew Thomas. Gives you a good indication what uh, Rick Michaels thinks of his decision. Well, I tell you, 